This dryer wasn't dead. The electrical service feeding it was. And what I found inside this panel should never look like this. When the homeowner called, they thought the dryer just stopped working. But the moment I checked the outlet, one of the 240 volt legs was dropping in and out. And that's a red flag that the issue is way upstream. So I traced it back to the panel. And this is where things got interesting. The main breaker connection to the bus was corroded. Badly. The screw was discolored. The metal was pitted and you could actually see signs of heat and oxidation right at the transition point. That's the kind of failure that can cause unpredictable voltage, arcing, or even kill an appliance. To fix this safely, I shut everything down at the meter main and took the entire assembly apart. Once I had it broken down, the corrosion was even worse than it looked from the front. I sanded all the contact surfaces to clean them up, removed as much of the pitting as possible, and applied fresh oxidation inhibitor to every connection point the breaker stabs, the bus transition, and the main lugs. Then I reassembled the whole thing, torqued everything back to spec, and powered it up. The dryer came back online instantly, and the voltage stabilized right where it should be. I still recommended a full panel replacement as soon as possible, because once corrosion gets inside a service, it usually doesn't stop. But for that night, this repair got the home safely back in service. I'm Josh. If you like real-world electrical diagnostics and breakdowns, hit subscribe for more.